Hey, uh, Dale the Librarian here. I'm glad you came to watch this video. I would like to um, give you the three following objectives that we're going to cover by the end of this, and hopefully it'll be a mercifully short video. One is, what is a good library database to start with if you're sociology, social work? Second, how do I find an article? Somebody wanted a scholarly article for uh, an assignment. And the third one is how to find trends in research, which is kind of like the, the thing that maybe brought you here. First of all, one good library database to start with. When you're at the University of Utah, you go to the Marriott Library, which is www.lib.utah.edu. If you are on campus, you'll have access to all of these things easily. If you are not on campus, make sure up here that this is logged into. You would use your U of U network ID or your UNID. Um, otherwise, you might not have full text access. This particular database, if somebody talks about finding journal articles, this is a really great one for sociology and social work. Um, under research databases, most libraries will have a similar list. The web page kind of comes out differently depending on what institution you're working with. But ours you can organize by a variety of ways. One, you can go by title if you know the title of one. And I've given you that, sociological abstracts. But you can also go by subject. So if you're looking for a particular discipline, um, communication, health communication, government documents, linguistics, all of these show up under there as well. So that's a good place to go. You can go by type if you need to find specific things. Um, this one doesn't have articles, which is kind of befuddling, isn't it? Because there's like articles. Oh, wait a minute, there is full text articles. Well, there's also indexed articles as well. Anyway, let's go to the letter S, because we know the title of our uh, database is Sociological Abstracts. All of the databases that begin with the letter S show up here. All of the databases have different content in them. Sometimes it represents one journal. Sometimes it represents a single newspaper, for example. Um, sometimes it's many, many different um, sources in there. Sometimes they're popular, so it's like easy to read stuff at kind of a lower reading level. And sometimes it's like the high-end scholarly stuff that's written to the master's and PhD level. But let's scroll down till we find Sociological abstracts. The reason I picked this one is it's really good for a lot of different uh, uh, disciplines in the social sciences. Social work abstracts, um, it's okay. Uh, social, there's several to try out. This is just one to try out. If you find a favorite one, go for it. But I'm going to go in here. So if you were trying to figure out, so your assignment was find out if the scope and range of the research you've already done is valid. Have you covered everything? So say, for example, I was interested in meditation. And therapy. So I was interested in that particular context. And you could throw in any number of keywords that you want. This is looking in um, social sciences, literature. The exercise that I have you do in this one is you could look at through all these 637 articles. But if you just wanted to see what's trending, you could go by a particular date range, and you can also go by subject. Subject is great because then you can see these are the major subject headings that the authors or the editors have used to describe that particular article. And for your search, it's like a popularity contest. So for uh, meditation and therapy, these are the contexts that it shows up the most. Studies, obviously, humans, obviously, in this database. But here we get in. Spirituality is the context. Psychology. Happiness studies are kind of trendy. Mental health, culture, all sorts of things going on. But the farther you go, you can start to see who's trending in what particular case study. So um, older people is this one. Middle-aged, aging, alternative medicine. Then we get into Buddhism, medicine, looking, it looks like all sorts of age, uh, different populations. Oh, there's one of the keywords I was looking for, well-being. Psychotherapy, qualitative research, you get the idea. And here's some, when you get farther in, you start seeing more direct applications. So that's how you do that. If you wanted to see one of those in particular, say, for example, you wanted to see how meditation and therapy was being um, studied with college students, you just go that way. And then you'd narrow down to those particular articles. The cool thing about this is if you're interested in studying any of these things, 
what you could go in and do is look at the methodology of the article, look at the things that they considered, and then you could start to build your own study should you feel so inclined. So this is the end of video number one. Oh, I was going to show you how to find an article. Dun, dun, dun. Say, for example, I wanted this one. Mindfulness-Based Interventions on College Campuses from 2016. In this database, sometimes you'll see full text. Sometimes you'll see the Find It button. The Find It button means they're looking for it in another database. So I clicked on the Find It button, and it's going to give me a list of other databases that this shows up in, or it's going to put me in that particular journal, or it's going to send me um, a little thing that says Request an Article. If you see the Request an Article, click on that, and that'll send you to our interlibrary loan where you can request it for free. So don't pay for articles at this point. On to the next video.